writing PPC ad copy sucks. So we eliminated it, seriously. What if I told you that you never again have to think of ad copy for your new campaign? What if I told you you never have to waste your time and money trying to improve your existing ad copy? The secret, as always when talking about SpyFu, lies with your competitors. And in the brand new ad history, we've streamlined the way you can do competitive analysis of your competition's successful ads. I'm gonna dive in and show you how this thing works. I sell flowers online. I'm doing okay organically, but I really need to step up my PPC game. This means starting some new campaigns, improving my existing campaigns, writing good ad copy that attracts customers, and hopefully not spending too much time on it all, because writing PPC ads sucks. So I'm gonna take a look at some big dogs and see how they're evolving their ad copy. FTD.com is a large online flower shop with a lot of ads running. So I'm going to take them into SpyFu and scroll down to where it says 10 best paid keywords for FTD. And then click on see all. For those of you who are familiar with ad history, this will look pretty similar, but quite a bit different. On the left side of the page are all the keywords that ftd.com is buying, and there are a lot. See all these little gray boxes? Those represent the actual ads that FTD bought on this keyword. Let's click on an ad for floral delivery. Now you can see the actual ad they ran for this keyword. This is the ad they ran in December. You may have noticed that as I hover my cursor over this ad, other ads around the page change color. That's because they have the exact same ad copy as this one does. That's right. Now you can see the frequency a company used their ad simply by moving your mouse across the tops of them and looking for highlights. You can see for the keyword floral delivery, they didn't use December's ad very long. They switched it in January and have been using that ad copy since then. Guaranteed delivery on our freshest flowers, up to 33% off. That's pretty good ad copy. I think I could use it for my floral shop. So I'm going to click on highlight. You'll see that all the ads with this copy are now highlighted red. There seems to be quite a few of them, and they're pretty recent, which builds my confidence in the success of this particular ad copy. It's also highlighted in the top ad section. It's second on the list, which means that it is indeed pretty popular ad copy for FTD.com. You can see that it's being used across 8% of all the ads you see on this page. And the only one slightly more popular was the one right above it at 9%. But if you look, you can see that they more or less have stopped using this ad copy for about seven months. However, I'm gonna highlight this one anyway because when it was on its run, it was found to be in the top ads 100% of the time. This is a strong indication of quality because it seems like you can't just bid your way from the side ads to the top ads, you have to have a good quality score. Recognizing all of these patterns is a big deal. It's part of SpyFu's number one principle of ad buying. People will waste money on AdWords, but they won't waste a lot of money over a long period of time. FTD has been changing and evolving their ad copy, and you can see that they've been doing this for years. They're testing different ad variations and Google is finding what works, giving favor to those that are getting clicked on. With this new layout and top ad section, it's easier than ever to discover patterns and find successful ad copy before even starting your campaign. For my online flower shop, these are the type of competitors that I wanna learn from. And this is the type of ad copy popular, well-tested, and with a reputable domain that I want to gain inspiration from. Or just straight up copy and paste right into my ad campaign. But running an ad campaign isn't always just about writing good ad copy. Sometimes that's just a part of it. So Mother's Day is coming up and I want to get a head start on my holiday advertising. But is it too late? If I'm doing seasonal themed advertising, should I run it throughout the year? Should I just forget all about Mother's Day and start advertising for Christmas and just leave them up all year? I have no clue. This is why SpyFu set up an incredibly slick phrase match filtering system. I'm going to type in Mother's Day. FTD is clearly advertising on Mother's Day, but for this last year, they've only seemed to do it for the month of April and May. And they're super on top of it. In April, they wrote ad copy that includes Easter. In May, they changed the ad copy to be only talking about Mother's Day, as well as using words like 
today, and same-day delivery. Though I can't imagine why anyone would need last-minute flowers. Wait, did Mother's Day already happen? Crap, I need to make a call. So it seems like FTD doesn't much like wasting money on advertising year-round for seasonal stuff. At least not for Mother's Day. But this wasn't always their strategy. If you scroll back through the five years of advertising history, which, by the way, is the most you can get in the industry by five times. Go, Spipu. You can see that they used to advertise on Mother's Day flowers year-round. It's only been in the last two years that they really cut back. For Christmas, it looks like they stretch it out to five months. And anniversary is predictably all year round. I think this is probably a reasonable strategy in ad buying. People think about their Christmas shopping long before December, but might forget about Mother's Day until the last minute. I didn't forget, I just wanted to make it more suspenseful. So for last minute seasonal advertising, it's more of getting your ad noticed and then adding on those perks like same day delivery. For every industry, you should take these strategies into consideration. Whether it's flowers or insurance or knitting patterns, every industry has seasons. And even if they don't, you can make them up. March Madness knitting pattern sale. But these advertising patterns are where you find smart ways to advertise for seasons regarding both both buying strategy and ad copy techniques. It can teach you how to bid smartly and for how long, so you don't waste money buying Mother's Day ads in October. Okay, SpyFu gives you a ton of data for every keyword and ad, including the coverage, or better put, the number of times we've seen this ad pop up on this keyword over the last year. We also give you the daily clicks and the cost per click. In the top ad slash highlighted section, we will show you the average position that this ad has been shown on compared to competing ads. We also allow you to export a CSV of the top 200 keywords, which you can take with you. We are more or less geeking out about the new ad history. It just makes it so much easier to find the patterns of winning ad copy, saving you time and making you money in a snap. Thank you for watching.